Rock and rap, both of these churros suck. The sound coming from many crevasses like Ruskies or Spear Chuckers, often Uma Thurman surprisingly has the aggressive mundanity of a comment chain. They are homogenous, long-winded tracks with the same Percy Jackson voices like the pentology of tired literal trash piles. Reading like the ink hasn't dried on the paper, it used in conjunct with its spine for a tree man to stimulate some lower order paraphilic mouth, producing wood shaving ejaculate, completing the cycle. If that's the first song on any of the last 50 years pop records, in my recalls, what I want to say has all the most 20% of choice prose materia. The last 10% is its own hyperphilia. YA novels with novice imagination, historical accounts which justify fascism by their intense naval gazing nostalgia to history class, nothing interesting like ejaculations, executions, philosophy books about influencing people, riding donkeys, cooking for giant turkeys, and I can't think of four and five because I don't read, so you viewers should exposit the full platonic set of lit for our modern danger. Danger? Danger? Days! Listening to music is bad. My point. But so is listening to people talk into acoustic ethers, tempting the monsters beyond the edges of the screen to lull you into a mediocratic fugue state. This is the part of the script that I lull into enthused time distortion. Time distortion. Low angle dolly shots. These and other lucky witnesses are a few among many adjunct percepts, inactive themly, which are slaves to our default presentational pal palettes. Is that the script?